Hello Nintendo fans, Assassinator back with another episode in my Find and Buy video series. In this video I'm going to be showing you something that I traded for. Um, I had talked to you in the past in one of my, my past Find and Buy video about an item that I had to trade and so I actually did trade it and I'm going to be showing you what I got. I got something that, that to me it made it a really good trade. Um, but you can be the judge of that, you can leave comments below. Um, but before that, I want to show you um, some more options for protecting your collectibles. So, let's get started. So the first thing that you see in front of you right now is just a regular um, Nintendo Switch box. I mean, nothing's in this one. Um, the system's been taken out. This one's actually a, a buddy of mine who let me use this right now just so I can demonstrate the difference. But, let's get into this. Um, so basically you see this, usually the boxes get worn along the edge here. Um, they get along that edge, any of the edges from just, you know, sliding around, things like that, they can actually get worn. Um, if you open the box and you, I guess, bend the, the flat backwards, you know, because when you open it from here, if you bend it back too far, it will end up doing, uh, putting some cracks right here and then uh, sliding it around will wear it out even more. Uh, you saw in my last video that I did of uh, my finds and buy, I got that Mario Kart Double Dash bonus set, uh, the GameCube, and on there I had shown you uh, where the box had actually worn. So, uh, there's this person, uh, Jeff, from Collector Protector, uh, I spoke with, and he actually has a solution for that. And his solution is these plastic protectors. These are the basically like the plastic protectors that I had shown you in the video that I, of my Legend of Zelda for the NES. Um, these are the harder plastic. These will protect against um, obviously the the boxes rubbing against other items, other things, the shelf, wherever you keep them, uh, wherever you store them, things like that. It will even help if you know, let's say, uh, some liquid of some sort, or uh, I mean, it could be anything. You could be walking by. And you can drop a plate of food, and if it splashes up, instead of it getting onto the box and staining it, ruining it, it would actually get on this plastic, which is easily cleanable. Um, it also helps protect it from dust, you know, things like that. So, pretty much, I think that this is a great idea. This is something that I've wanted for a long time. I wanted to always protect my, my boxes, um, because I hate when they get worn out. I hate when they get that wear on, along the edges, you know, things like that. Um, obviously, my Mario Kart box, hopefully, eventually, uh, uh, Jeff from Collector Protection will, will come out with, um, I guess, a protector for that. I don't know um, if, if that's one of the, them on his priority list. Obviously, they didn't make a whole lot of them, or there's not really a whole lot of them still in existence. So, I don't know if, you know, he's going to see uh, some profit there. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to talk with him about it. I'm going to send him the sizes, the dimensions see if he can actually produce one for that one because obviously I want to protect every single uh, box I have. I mean, I already have protectors on my Donkey Kong Country, my Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, my Zelda Ocarina of Time. So I like to get protectors for as many items as I can just to keep them looking good for years and years and years. So uh, with that said, I'm going to show you the box a little bit, uh, show you, you know, so you can take a look at it. but. Uh, you might be able to see it's kind of glossy. I'm not sure how the light's hitting it um, or getting this footage recorded. But I mean, this thing is is a tight fit, not too tight though, but tight enough that it it holds the system in there great. I don't want to move this box too much and show you it because then if I do, I'm going to be revealing what's behind it, which is the item I traded for. So let me slide this back out of the way for a moment. I want to show you uh, the item that I picked up while I was on my way to do this trade. So the item is the turtle shell. This is the Super Mario Brother uh, toy. You can see right there, it pretty much is a wind back toy. You pull it back and then you let it go and it goes forward. Uh, this was the last toy I needed from the, the McDonald Happy Meals, uh, part of the Super Mario series. Uh, so now I have all eight of them. They only came out with eight, I now have all eight. Uh, this one obviously took me the longest to find. I was thinking, you know, 
within the first couple of weeks I'd have them all. Um, I think it's been closer to like three weeks now. But I found it nonetheless. I'm happy I have them all. Uh, I was I was thinking for a moment there I'd have to buy it off eBay or something like that just to make sure I had it. But it's not too late. If you want to still get these toys, you can still hit up your local McDonald's if you're out here in the U.S. and and you would be able to pick these things up. Um, just ask the person at the drive-thru window, which do you have? And a lot of the time you can actually buy the toy by itself. It costs you just under $2 or at least that's how much it cost me. But to me it's worth it. So let's move this out of the way now. Now before I continue, I also want to let you know that in the Amiibo hunting box, I do have 10 Amiibo that I purchased. Now these were on sale at Best Buy. So if you're watching this video um, right today, basically when I uh, post it, you will know what I'm talking about. If you were to go onto the Best Buy ad, you'll see basically wh what it was that I, I purchased. You will even have that option to purchase what I purchased and get it for right around the same price as me. I get 20% off like I've told you in previous videos. Uh, so if you've watched my previous videos, you know how I get the 20% off. If you haven't watched my previous videos, then watch them and you will you will see how I get that 20% off and maybe you'll consider actually doing you know, the same thing as me so you can get that 20% off. But um, I pretty much paid right around, I believe it's $14, right around $14 I paid for 10 Amiibo, which you're looking at, what is that, $1.40 a piece? So that's way below... Um, what, what I was saying I want to pay for each Amiibo. And the thing is, every one of these are sealed. The problem is, uh, it's five in one set and five in the other. And when I say that, it's five different Amiibo and then five of the same Amiibo. And the reason I did that is because I want to open up five of them and basically have um, them loose. Because like I said in my Amiibo hunting video, I want to have a sealed copy and, and a loose one so I can actually use them in... Uh, games that are out right now that are Amiibo compatible and the ones in the future. So without wasting any more time, uh, I just want to let you know, look forward to that Amiibo hunting video. Uh, right now is a good time to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss out on that. Um, also hit that thumbs up if you like this video or any of my other videos. Uh, make sure you're always hitting that thumbs up so I know to keep on putting content like this out here. So without further ado, my trade. So here you see the NES Classic Edition. What I traded for this was my new Nintendo 3DS XL, a gray one. Um, I had shown you that I had picked up three as part of a group buy where I was able to get them, all three of them, for $300, which made them 100 bucks each. So pretty much because I traded one of those units for this, I look at this as I paid $100 for it. So that was a great deal considering these things are going for... Uh, anywhere from $200 on a, I mean, I've seen them as high as $350. i have seen people asking for $400. Uh, that to me is absurd right there, especially when you got other people posting them for, you know, right around $250 and stuff like that. I don't see why anyone would pay $400. Um, but hey, you never know. Uh, if they get the $400, great for them. Uh, such for the person who actually paid that. But here I paid $100 for mine. Um, basically is how I'm looking at it. This thing was in great shape. It's brand new. The only problem is it has some wear. Right along the side here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. You can see that. You can kind of see a little bit of white up in this edge. This is the wear that I'm talking about. I mean, I can do this all day and I'm not going to mess up the box uh, because it has a protector on it. And once again, got that protector from Collector Protection. Um, I will leave a, a link uh, to to the person, you know, uh, his contact information. I don't believe he has a website yet. I know he, he's working on that. He wants to make sure to put a, a good website out there. Uh, I know he is selling them on eBay, and then he's also selling them to you, you know, if you want to give him a call, let, let you know, uh, or let him know what you're looking for. Um, and he, he can let you know, you know, what, what systems he has these protectors for. Um, he can also uh, let you know pricing, things like that. But um, we'll put this back here. But like I said, I will leave that info uh, 
below so you can hit them up and, and possibly get yourself some of these protectors to help protect your things. Now because this thing will never be used, um, I put it in the protector and I don't have to ever worry about opening it up. Now these protectors, they actually, I've seen other protectors like the ones for uh, like my Donkey Kong Country, so the SNES boxes, the N64 boxes, even uh, the N64, not the N64, the NES cartridges. Those ones, the, the flap goes in, but these ones, it actually has a lock, so you can lock them. I like that design a lot better, so so Jeff is doing a great job with these. Um, but there it is, um, this is the, the NES Classic Edition, it's basically a retro throwback, it has 30 great games on it, I mean games you can see on the front, it says Zelda, Mario Brothers, Metroid, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Kirby, I mean just a total of 30, I mean you even got Mega Man in there. So some, some of the greatest NES games, it's not all of them, uh, there are some okay games in there, but you know what, it's just, it's just a really cool thing to have, to own. Uh, I did hear that Nintendo, I mean it's a rumor, it's a leak, but it's one of those things, you know they're going to do it, uh, an SNES Classic. Now, those, I'm going to make sure to get one of those day one. This, I wasn't able to get day one because they were sold out. Um, I wasn't able to pre-order one because back then I wasn't really into the collecting part. So I figured, you know what, I'll go ahead and get one um, later on down the line. Well, because of that, I missed my chance at getting one day one, and these things have been really hard to find. I mean, they go in the store, they're out of the store, just like the Switch. They, they pop up, and we're gone. They're sold out, and the only way to get a hold of them is from the scalpers that are online. So I never got one. Um, I would see them all the time posted for $100, $120, things like that. Um, but I never, I felt, you know what, I got time, I'm going to get one later on. Well, time ran out, Nintendo decided to announce they're no longer manufacturing them. So as soon as they did that, uh, prices shot up. And so now we're looking about $200 uh, to $250, even higher than that. I do know that the day after Nintendo announced that they were no longer going to be manufacturing these, on eBay, every two minutes, uh, they were selling one of these units for an average price of $332, I believe it was. So, I mean, that the price is really shot up. I don't know if the prices are still that high. Um, it could just be one of those things people get scared when they hear they're no longer going to be made, so people are running out purchasing these things. I held off because it was like, no, there's no way I'm going to spend that type of money. $300 I'd rather put towards more, more items. I mean, yes, I would love to have one, and, but I wouldn't pay that type of price. So, me getting this for $100 is above MSRP. But you know what? In order to have this and have this in my collection, I was willing to do that trade, which, like I said, basically was $100. The, the person actually was asking for $200, and he saw my unit. I mean, my, my unit is going for $200. So it's kind of an even trade. I mean, if anything, it worked out better in his favor. But I'm happy with this. Um, I got, got, got a great item to add to my collection. Now, uh, with that said, I wanted just to show you uh, one of the collector protectors, the film without, you know, a box. So there you go right there. Check out the back. He leaves uh, this plastic on it. This makes sure that you don't get fingerprints, scratches, anything like that during shipping or even while you're handling it. You pull this off at the last minute before you, uh, before you close the, the doors on the unit. So, I mean, that's just, that's really cool right there. But like I said, uh, if you're looking for things like this, hit up Jeff. And once again, in the, there will be the information below so you can actually uh, contact him. So, one more time, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell. And until next time, keep on collecting.